and it isn't your memory. Get down. Oh, well. What about some of these books? The top shelf contains a set of German books that once belonged to Gabriel's grandfather. That shelf holds used copies of the Dime Strife series, secrets of unsolved ancient UFO mysteries and such. They just leap out the door. That shelf, they just, that, they just, that shelf contains historical references, biographies of kings and queens, that sort of thing. That, sh the top shelf contains books on animals, including snakes and other reptiles. St. George books could use some serious renovation, but Gabriel likes to think that the place has character. Under the window are reference books, dictionaries, foreign language dictionaries, quotation books, and others. Gabriel borrows them often when he's writing. Three snakes in a skull. Gabriel's father painted it. What a wacky, offbeat kind of guy Daddy was. Hmm. Well, let's go in the back room and see what's there. So this is Gabriel's room. It's just, you know, a typical guy's room. You got some Mardi Gras stuff. Mardi Gras mementos left by some female or other. The typewriter is beginning to accumulate cobwebs. Seems like... Should I feel guilty? Yeah, seems nah. like Gabriel's got some writer's block there. Uh, yeah. Jeans and t-shirts. Does that look like what he's wearing right now? Huh. It seems typical for any Sierra character to have multiple versions of his own outfit. And a refrigerator. A little cold bubbly and brie cheese is about all Gabriel's fridge ever has in it. Bills from last Christmas gather dust on the door. I want to check out that brie. Let's open it. Gabriel, shut the refrigerator, please. I could smell it from here. Women. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so let's go and to our first destinations, which are the voodoo references in the French Quarter. So we're gonna open the door to get out. I'll be back later. Have fun. So this is a travel interface mapped with all of your destinations. The icons are the clickable points where you can go. Uh, the yellow highlighted icon is where Gabriel is currently at. So he's at St. George's Bookshop. That's where Gabriel lives. Uh, so this is the French Quarter. And if you go to the Greater New Orleans map, you find Gabriel's grandmother's house here. We'll go there a little bit later. But right now, let's head over to the Historical Voodoo Museum. And Gabriel's got a really nice motorcycle. Hi. Look around all you want. Okay, thanks. You know, all this stuff looks kind of interesting, but... I really need to talk to her. Maybe she might know something a little bit more about me we should look for. Could I ask you a few questions? I wouldn't be much help. Ugh. You should talk to Dr. John, the owner. Uh. He'll be back tomorrow. I see. Thank you. It's always like that. The guy that you need to talk to isn't there. Eh, we'll talk. We'll talk to him in day two. The back wall displays various voodoo items, such as a feathered African mask. The back wall is a gaudy shell necklace. So there are multiple items here that will show that will show up in the text. Dang! I think I'll just leave that for another video where I just click things over and over again because if I keep doing all these things, it'll make the video very, the window very, overlooked very long. Street. A street drama has settled outside the museum. Reminds me of a book critic for the New York Times. 
He's got more hair than Mosley. On the table is a small coffin. So small, in fact, that it would only fit an infant. Charming. A striking portrait of a turban woman is on the back wall. Gabriel wonders who she might be. A very large, very formidable-looking snake is secured in a plexiglass cage. An official voodoo wish and stump. Ooh. Rub it and make a wish, a card said. Funny, I say the same thing to women. <laughs> well, let's take, let's see what Gabriel really wants to wish for. I wish my publisher would actually promote one of my novels for a change. This also is like the wall where multiple clicks will give you multiple options which I may or may not do in I a separate I wish my video. publisher would actually I'll just show you that there are multiple I wish I could afford to take ground on a cruise I'll lump them all into a vi into another video it's sort of like miscellaneous stuff when I have time but right now let's concentrate on I'll doing the now, thanks. just the regular so let's long. play video okay we're done with the museum seems like we can't really get much out of it. We can't take anything. We can't talk to anyone there who knows anything. We have to wait until day two. Let's go to the Vixenland Drugstore. And see if we can't get any information. Hi. Uh -huh. Seems like an enthusiastic shopkeeper. Hi there. Is this your store? This is the Dixieland Drugstore and I own it, me. Name's Walker, Willie Walker. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask what you want, I'll answer what I want. Can you tell me what you know about voodoo? This is a novelty shop, monsieur. Doesn't seem to be very forthcoming. Do you think I'm stupid? This is a voodoo shop, look at all this stuff. These are novelties, curiosities. If people want to think they're magic, it's not my concern, you know. Are you telling me that you own a voodoo shop, but you know nothing about voodoo practices? Zafé ne pas zafé blanc. What does that mean? It means you should mind your own business, monsieur. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Cabri saint What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Those killings have nothing to do with my shop, monsieur. Hmm. What do you know about Seems to know something, voodoo doesn't murders? He? Monsieur, that has nothing to do with my shop. Let's follow up, shall we? What did you mean when you said Cabri Saint Cor? I didn't say that. You did. I heard you say it. You heard wrong, monsieur. I said no such thing. Yeah, I have lying ears, but again, I'm tape recording all my conversations to show up on blogs. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I've lived here all my life, me. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I'm a busy man, monsieur. I don't get out of my neighborhood much. Tell me about yourself. My name's Willie Walker. I own the place. Tell me about you. How did you get into this kind of business? Why should I discuss my business with you, man? It doesn't seem very forthcoming. Well, let's take a look around see if there's anything else that we can ask him about. The entire shelf is stocked with containers of high John the Conqueror root powder. A variety of cloth dolls are arranged above the shelves. Each Impaled with a single silver pin. Voodoo and hoodoo. The craft as revealed by traditional practitioners by Jim Haskins. Available at Dixieland Drugstore and other fine stores. Ropes of garlic hanging from the ceiling. I'll know where to come if I ever have a vampire problem. <laughs> 